Well, hi there, church, and welcome to our first ever online worship celebration. Yes, it's great that you've joined us, and I'm sure you're as ready and excited as we are. Many of you have been asking for extended worship, and so this evening is really just that, a whole service of worship. We want to encourage you to lean in and really just immerse yourself in God's presence through your worship. You know, as I said earlier today in our six services, worship is not a feeling or an emotion. It is an intentional decision to draw close to God through our adoration and reverence of Him. Worship is also the fitting response of the created towards the Creator. So keep your heart open, lift your hands wherever you are, and let's make a joyful noise to the Lord as we hand over to the worship team. Amen. We're going to celebrate Jesus wherever you're streaming from. Would you participate? Would you lift your voice? Would you praise Him with all that you got and be expected for God to do something amazing in your life? Amen. We sing. Jesus. Our redemption. Our redemption. Our salvation.
Do you believe it? 
upon your family, upon your life, upon your need. He's with us and He's faithful and He's a God that keeps every promise that He's ever made over our lives. And as we declare this next song, it's a promise that He's made over your life, over my life, over our nation. So let's trust Him together as we worship. Thank you, God. Lord, turn me. Fade. 
Let's bring our needs before God. You lift your hands as we pray. Father, we thank you that you are for us, not against us, Lord. We pray, Father, for every need that is represented in this moment, God. For those, God, that are at home that are sick, oh God. For those, God, that have lost employment, God, that have lost income, Lord. For those families that are struggling in this season, God. We ask you, God, that you will bring provision, Lord. We ask you, God, that you will give us breakthroughs, Lord. We ask that you will give us healing. We trust you for every single need, physical, spiritual, mental. Thank you that you are God and that you are our provider. In the precious name of Jesus, we ask. Amen.
Lord. Church, God is so worthy. Worthy of our praise, of our worship, of our absolute adoration. You know, today we've gathered in His name to lift our voices and lift our hearts, to sing to Him and to bring Him our worship. But part of doing that includes bringing our substance, amen? Bringing our tithes, bringing our offerings and laying them at His feet. Sowing seeds in faith, trusting Him and knowing that as the Scriptures tell us, as we do that, our barns will be filled to overflowing, amen? And He can and will provide for our every need. So while we worship with our voices, let's take this moment to sow into His kingdom, into His church, and to bless Him with the fruit of our hand, our first and our best. On the screen, some instructions are gonna come up on the various ways that we can sow, that we can give, that we can worship Him in this way together tonight. And as that happens, and as we sow together, we're gonna continue to worship Him who is worthy, Him who alone is worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. What gift of love could I offer to a king? What weight or what could be held within my offering? When he alone is worthy. Glorious song is the spirit upon my heart. 
in your home, wherever you are. We begin to praise God for what He's done, for what He's doing, and what He will do in the future in your life. Will you lift Him up? Will you glorify Him in spite of the circumstances? We praise you, God.
you are here, God. Your presence is here, God. And we draw near to you, Lord. We take a step towards you, Jesus. Will you take a step towards us, God? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for who you are, God. So many of us worship. Holy, holy, holy our God.
Thomas said. Wherever you are, will you lift your hands and we're singing and he shall reign. And he shall reign forever and ever. God, Lord, you truly reign. We exalt you, Lord. Glorify you, God, in this moment, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives, God. Thank you that you're here, Lord. Bring heaven to earth, Jesus. Bring heaven to every home, God, as we sing holy. You are holy, God. You are holy, God. You are holy, Lord. We cry out holy to you, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. We lift our voice, God. Come on, in your home, can you lift your voice? Can you press in? Thank you, God. response, our life's response to the sacrifice that He made for you and I, to His body that was broken and His blood that was shed. And tonight as we've been worshiping, maybe you found yourself on the stream and it's the first time you've seen people lifting their hands and singing out to God, closing their eyes and worshiping Him. Or maybe you hear and you used to walk with God, you used to know Him and serve Him, but you've grown cold and you've wandered away. And right here, right now in this moment, we wanna remind you of the hope that we have in Jesus Christ, the salvation, the eternal life 
the beautiful relationship and the promise that we have and the eternity in heaven as we surrender our hearts and our lives to Him. So if that's you, you wanna know Him for the first time or you wanna come back to Him, won't you pop over to our website? Our team would love to get in touch with you. We'd love to help you walk a journey in relationship with Jesus, help you to submit your life to Him, knowing that you will never be the same as you do. In Jesus' name. Amen. And church, we hope you've been blessed and enjoyed this time in God's presence. Hope that it has stirred your heart and filled your soul. And until we see you again next week, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make His face to shine upon you. We love you and we'll see you online next week. Well, church, what a great evening of worship. And I pray that you feel encouraged and blessed and that you really connected with God. In fact, I'm expecting that we're going to receive many praise reports of lives that have been changed and impacted because of a decision to worship God and surrender your life to Him. Absolutely. Now, just a quick reminder that if you haven't had an opportunity to give yet in the service, you can still do so now through one of the electronic means that are on screen right now. Yes, and thanks so much for being part of our worship celebration. Remember that worship is not just something we do on a Sunday, but it's a lifestyle we live. So go into your place of work tomorrow and shine the light of Jesus there. God bless and have a fantastic week. Mm -hmm.